You made it. <laughs> Even in the midst of a pandemic, you're finally here. Welcome to the starting line of your marriage. Kate, I'm so glad you showed Jim around Nashville when he moved here. And Jim, I'm so glad you had the sense to text her. Kate, you have in Jim a man with high organizational aspirations. A man with an incredible work ethic, and his baseball game isn't that bad either. Jim, I charge you to use your gifts of loyalty, hard work, and commitment, first and foremost, to become the world's leading expert at loving Kate. Jim, you have in Kate a woman who's not afraid to stand her ground, a woman of deep and passionate strength, ambitious honesty, and bold compassion. Kate, I charge you to use your gifts of truth-telling, drive, and energy to become the world's leading expert at loving Jim. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Outdo one another in love. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Cultivate increasing fondness for one another as you recognize and celebrate the gift you see in your partner with verbal persistent praise. Your intimacy will grow in your ability not to rescue each other from your needs, but in your capacity to be with each other in the unmetness of them. I charge you to care for each other by giving the gift of sharing and knowing each other's needs, offering them to God in prayer, especially when you can't meet them. Finally, don't ever stop learning more and more about what it means to be Christ-like lovers of one another. God sent Jesus Christ to reveal God's love for the world, and God has sent you to each other to reveal God's love in your marriage. Love one another the way Christ loves us. Outdo one another in embodying God's love in your marriage. I, Jim, take you, Kate, to be my wife. I, Jim, take you, Kate, to be my wife. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Will you, family members and friends, promise to uphold and encourage these two in their marriage through word and deed, love and prayer, encouraging them to love one another the way Christ loves us? If you so promise, please stand. You don't deserve this. It's a gift. It's grace. You are not alone. We are all standing with you. It is now my privilege, by the power vested in me, to pronounce you husband and wife. Give me a kiss, bride. It's my privilege to present to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. James Leggett. Thank <laughs> you.